Right, having uh, having pushed, <coughs> excuse me, um, having pushed this bit further back, uh, hopefully, hopefully I can now get to to these uh, these tacks along here, and uh, yeah, so that's my next job. Free the tacks, got those ones off. Just got to get the middle ones. Oh, you know, it appears there are actually fifteen. 15 tacks in this section going to the other side obviously I still need to disconnect that uh, wire there's a, a brown and uh, um, brown wire with a black trace um, and also a permanent live a, pur a purple why that uh, I need to take off. Um. When I reinstall, I'm going to have to uh, check this uh, this light fitting because uh, I thought it was only ignition live, so um, it obviously wasn't working at all. Um, so, oh, well, having said that, yeah, oh yes, that is, yep, yeah, so obviously, yeah, obviously that's meant to go on all the time. Hmm. May well, of course, uh, have been uh, working all along, it's just <laughs> thinking about it, when I'm driving, I'm never sitting in the back <laughs> putting the rear light on. <laughs> oh well, uh, live and learn. Seems to be a bit of a uh, screwdriver to lever up, which I don't like doing because obviously it deforms the uh, aluminium until you can sort of get under there and uh, then it's bringing the big boys. Drop that. <laughs> I've, uh, I've lost a couple on the floor already, and uh, I just know if I don't trace them, my tyres will find them. Slow progress, but uh, I've reached the halfway point, so uh, I think I'll celebrate with a with a coffee. It's a little bit cold in here anyway. <laughs> so anyway, uh, onwards and upwards. Oh, I'm. Uh, I'm down to the uh, the last the last couple of uh, tacks now. Uh, I don't know if you can see them. Doesn't really matter if you can or can't really. Um, yeah, I'm down to the last couple of tacks, and uh, once that's off, be interesting to see what the uh, what the woods like. And right, I've got the uh, last bits out. Now the moment of truth when. I can uh, remove this again I'm going to do it two-handed because um, I can't afford to let the uh, the root roof um, warp or well, bend uh, whatever you call it anyway um, so take that off and then come back well we're we're now off uh, the screws that uh, we mentioned about pulling it back are these these ones on the top of these cross members um, and uh, yes and the I, I'd forgotten these so long ago these little tacks they had no heads on them whatsoever so uh, unfortunately Kind of the holes might have been a little bit enlarged in a couple of those, but they can they're hidden under the gutter, so it doesn't really matter. Um, that's why that line's on there because that's you have to take the gutter off um, to, uh, to 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 remove them. The gutter actually hides them, so this is tacked on. The uh, 
the gutter is then put on flat and it's folded <coughs> it's folded over it's quite a clever quite a clever design i think this is the uh, this is the butchered gutter that uh, that i i took off um and uh, yeah anyway um sometime it's a new one's gonna get back on there but uh no, I, I think that's quite neat. Well, this is what it's like underneath. Not pretty, but uh, the frame actually, it's uh, it's not um, it's not terribly rotted. It uh, could be. Could be used again though why anybody would want to stick an old frame on when it's so much work i don't know um but uh yeah i'm pleased that uh i'm pleased it was sound in my lifetime and uh, wasn't wasn't a ministry of transport failure all pretty structurally sound obviously less structurally sound now it's come out and it's not attached to to anything I wouldn't like to have to try and fabricate one of these. I mean, that's that's quite a quite a bit of artistry on there. Yeah, fine bit of work, uh, British Motor Corporation. Sorry, fine bit of work, Morris. As uh, when these were first made, you weren't even in the. British Motor Corporation. Well, I suppose when travellers where you might have been. What was it about 62? Austin and Morris. Not 62, 52. Austin and Morris uh, got together. Personally, I always love it when you come across things like this. Uh, you know, these marks made by the original fitter of this... Uh, this roof, um, you know, chalked off, passed, ready to go. I assume that's two signatures, quality control and the guy that fitted it. And uh, goes to show how good, if that is original paint, how good the, uh, the paint work was. Well, the original prep and priming that is. I just noticed a dreadful thing, eh? There's a little, uh, little dink, little dink in there. Needs knocking out. Probably a conker or, or uh, falling, you know, from a horse chestnut or uh, a stone being chucked up from the road. Realistically, that's it for uh, today. Roof is off, um, and. Uh, safe as I can stow it stowed and uh, yep another day another dollar have a great weekend uh, anybody watching this or week if you're watching it middle of the week or life if you're just watching it in general <laughs>